All right, let's talk about some NBA. Appreciate everybody for checking in. We're going to talk about DeMar DeRozan and an intruder breaking into his house, thinking it was, I think, Kylie Jenner's house in the gated community. Also, we're going to talk about Kyrie not speaking to the media. But first, let's talk about is Luka Doncic tampering, saying that Jokic want to, won't Jokic know he want to join them in Denver. He should come, I mean, join them in Dallas and know he want to come to Dallas. So let's talk about that. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And I took it more uh, sarcasm, to be honest, um, uh, with uh, Luca. I don't think he was saying that. Yeah, Jokic come, Jokic should come over here. I talked to him and this, that, and third in the NBA could consider it tampering. But um, yeah, I mean, he should have got Jokic before Porzingis. But you know, Jokic, you know, would Mark Cuban that would be his dream? Porzingis, uh, Jokic, and uh, Luka Doncic, uh, and three Eastern Eastern European, which he said were becoming the dominant players in the NBA or something like that he said a couple years ago and also he lucked up and messed around and got dirt but um yeah I mean the NBA has kind of been cracking down but I think if LeBron would have said something just due to all the moves that he made it would have been a little bit more backlash but you know why not try to recruit a guy like Jokic who's probably the best center overall if you don't include Anthony Davis as a center amazing passer um you know only problem with Jokic is not just defense it's just him being aggressive and taking over the game with his scoring on the block. You know, if he able to become a monster on the block, he can be a problem. But I don't think Denver letting him go. You know, Denver got a lot of young pieces. Bolo Bolo, Michael Porter Jr., Will Barton, Gary Harris, Jamal Murray. So I don't really envision him. I remember at one point they had Nurkic and Jokic. And they had to flip uh, Nurkic over to Portland. This really paid off for them uh, in that trade uh, for Nurkic for Portland. But, you know, at the end of the day, if he do go over there, then it could be uh, suspicion if he turned down a huge contract from, you know, Denver. But do can they fit Przingis and Jokic and Luka under one roof for a contract? I think that's going to be hard to do. But really, Przingis is a part-time max player, you know, and he need to be putting some more weight so he can have some more durability um, throughout his career. But that would be interesting because Luka and, you know, Przingis is the most athletic out of the three. You know, and then again, he can still go out there and get Vujovic, you know. Um, they can do Vujovic um, for somebody and bring him there. You know, I don't think. And so, I mean, he's just as good as Jokic. He just don't get the publicity. He can shoot. He can take off the dribble. Um, you know, he's a little bit more athletic than Jokic. So, I mean, we'll see. We know Mark Cuban love his European or Eastern European basketball players. But I will say this. They are making statements, though, because they coming over here and getting better and better. You know, just international players. Tony Parker, you hear how Tim Duncan didn't think he could lead into a championship in this new book. And now, four championships later, you know, Tim Tony Parker doing his thing. You know, you look at uh, Dirk Nowitzki, Hakeem Olajuwon, just international players in general. You know, it's becoming a thing. Uh, uh, Pascal Siakam, Serge Ibaka. And then you got uh, Vujovic, Nurkic, Jokic, Jokic, and Luka Doncic, Brzingis, that... You know, they really, and they ain't coming over here with that old fundamental. They coming off the boat like Arvidas Sabonis in his prime. You know what I'm saying? And v, Arvidas was a bad, shut your mouth, you know, before he came and got old in Portland. But, I mean, we'll see. I mean, don't forget uh, his son, Sabonis, who had an injury. These these international players is getting back, c crucial. Dennis Schroeder, like, they really starting to catch up, you know, to us. I mean, it was different with Jordan and Carl Malone and Barkley and Magic was bashing them in the head. 20, 30 years ago, and that was a situation where they get some ballers. They might not have the athleticism that the guys have, but really, they not just, just the basic fundamental Eastern European or international players. Now they're coming over here with swag. You got Canada, RJ Beard, Jamal Murray. They they coming, you know? So the international scene is totally different, and you got to thank the guys who paved the way. You know, my man, what's my man that played for Jersey that died? Petrovic. You know, you got the Stojakovic, the Dirks, the Turkaloos and, you know, international players and kind of came a long way. And if Cuban can triple up with Jokic, Przingis, or Vujovic, or Jokic, or Nurkic, they're going to be on their way. You know, now they really ain't had that, those from Eastern Europe, they ain't had them lockdown defenders like Hakeem Olajuwon, but they coming. You don't forget Dukembe. You know, he, he tried to hold Prime Shaq down, but Prime Shaq was 300 pounds of muscle and a problem. You know, I don't know. Would you rather get in the ring with Mike Tyson for a minute or be on the post and catch a Chris Dudley elbow from uh, <laughs> Shaquille O'Neal? That's becoming an option. But, you know, I don't think they're going to reprimand him for saying that. I think it was more being sarcastic and joking around.
But if they could swing that over there, Mark Cuban would probably have an orgasm right where he sit at. But to move on, DeMar DeRozan had a situation at the crib where somebody got into his house and made it to one of his kids' playroom. And basically, he ran him out the, the crib. So I forget where they was at. Probably in L.A. because the Jenner girl stayed there. And you talking about gated community. Don't forget Eminem. Somebody got in his gated community and got past their security. And DeMar DeRozan, ain't like he can be soldier boy and keep a gun in every room. You got kids. You know what I'm saying? And this is yin, yin and yang. You damn if you do, damn if you don't. If your kids get in your bed, you got certain people that keep guns under their pillow and sleep with them. You know, so you damn if you do, damn if you don't. Imagine DeMar DeRozan keeping a gun, gun in every room and one of his kids playing with it and make the news. And then imagine DeMar DeRozan, you know, without a gun and chasing the intruder. At the end of the day, he's 6'6", 220 pounds, but then the equalizer is the pistol. The equalizer is a knife. The equalizer is they could have snatched his kid. And, you know, those are the equalizers. So you got you to gotta be able to protect yourself. You know what I'm saying? And you got to be able to protect your family and your kids. And that's why these, a lot of these dudes carry them burners. Big Shine House got robbed out there. That's why Soldier Boy keep a gun in every house. I mean, obviously, after they robbed him, you know, of course, he paranoid. But that's them gun laws. You know, you talk about the safety of the youth. And then you talk about the safety of the youth. The safety of youth, oh, he shouldn't have guns. Then the bad guy's just going to have guns. Then if you do have guns, you really got to keep your guns in a fireproof safe or somewhere your kids can't reach them. So, you know, with DeMar DeRozan, he wouldn't have been wrong if he gunned him down. You got to think of some of these laws, depending on where you live at, it's ignorant. You know, one thing I like about Texas is the Florida stand your ground law. Somebody come on my property, back, jogging backwards, smoking crack, walking, I should have the right to put their dick in the dirt, straight up and down. But that's not always the case. I remember here in Detroit a few years ago, and it was a guy on the east side. I don't even know if he's free yet, but a guy was robbing his house, and it's like the 30th time they'd robbed his house. And I've been there before, and he caught the dude in the backyard taking a CV, and the dude stopped and said, what the fuck you gonna do? And he shot him, and then they pretty much charged him. Don't, not sure if he beat the case or, you know, he did the time, but that's some bullshit. You brandish your weapon, or you pistol whip somebody, that's just as bad as you shooting them. At some point, it's time for um, most of these states in the 21st century to pretty much get up to code on law. That's some bullshit. You keep robbing my house and the police not doing nothing, and I catch you, and I, and I can't do nothing? You got my TV, and I'm supposed to watch you take it, and the police write a report? Come on, man. That, that just ain't right. And DeMar DeRosa should have put the beast by Dre on him. But then again, he's just concerned at the time is getting, getting old dude out of his house so his child can be fine. He got in the room with the, with the child. You know, and, and that's just a shame that you can't have nothing. You're in a gated community, but you living like you in the hood. But then again, the guy came back, you know, he wrote him off. The guy came back and they got him. He said it was a mistake. He was looking to get the Kylie Jenner house or whichever them Kardashian girls house. and said he wasn't really targeting uh, the Marta Rosen house. It was just a mistake. But yo, know, so often they got to throw the book at him because in the state of California, Southern California, it's just, it's just happening too much. Too many robberies. And that's the best thing you can have is a dog. You know what I'm saying? You know, best thing you can have in a dog. And once you train that dog around kids, you won't have that issue no more. Let the kid pull his tail or do some dumb shit like that. So you got to train the kid to be around the dog. So if he had a dog, that, that dude probably wouldn't have made it. Just depending on what type of dog he had. He, you know, had a couple Dobermans. You got to watch them with their crane. We had a couple rock rollers, copper uh, bowler balls, you know, whatever. A couple pits. People pits get a bad rap. It's all about how you train them, you know, because them motherfuckers, eyes out smart. And, you know, but then again, the Mastiffs are protective and they got good temperaments. Some of them. I mean, you got the real mean ones, the Bull Mastiff. I wouldn't put kids around there, but, if, you know, Bull Mastiff or you get a, a, a African or a Keith, something like that, or a German Shepherd come from Germany train, you ain't going to have too many problems. You know, the Mastiffs are probably good for them because they, they bond well with kids. You know, depending on any dog, Akita, Wolfhound, and that dog, he ain't got to worry about chasing that intruder. That dog had been sitting right there in that playroom with that kid. Man, that, that man would have got it. And that's the good thing about dog tell people. Dogs the best security system. You know what I'm saying? You know, once you get to learn what they're barking for and how they bark to go, he wouldn't have had that issue. But, you know, I think Derrick Henry, he had a rock roller a couple years ago. That joke was probably big. But that's just something you got to consider. You know, most people say, oh, I don't like dog shit. I wasn't a dog person until I got one. Most loyal things you can have. And that's the best security you can have.
You know, because once a dog bite, you know, DeMar DeRozan would have been put some hits in. But let's close it out. Y'all boy, y'all miss Kyrie Irving wrote a letter. He said he is not talking to the media this year. I don't know if he wrote a check to the NBA. Excuse me. I don't know if he wrote a check to the NBA because when you don't speak to the media, you get fined. And without the media, TNT, ESPN, the NBA don't get their product. So I don't know if he wrote a check to the NBA or talked to the NBA about not speaking to the media. But one thing about Kyrie, he reminds you from a New York guard. Mostly he from he was born in Australia. He was born in Jersey. He's just not right in the head. He reminds you of Stephon Marbury, Larry Brown, Kenny Anderson. You know, all them New York guards. Were phenomenal uh, with the ball handle. Kyrie got everything you need besides durability and social skills. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, and Kevin Durant seemed to be a little bit sensitive, so I'm not sure how that's going to work. You know, and doesn't really talk to the to the, um, to the the media, but then he get in front of the media talking about he need to trade people and our team not good enough even when KD get back. Maybe it's best that they keep him away from the media, but Kyrie Irving is just a weird dude, but people that lose their parents, especially their mother early on, a lot of times, from that traumatic experience with not having your mother at that age, you know, not making excuses for them, it's just you can't really, you can't really, you can't really mentally really get balanced. So I don't know if that's an issue, but you're talking about other than durability and mental, Kyrie Irving probably the most skillful player right now going in the game. I'm talking about handle, scoring, you know, when he wanted to defend, defend. But when, once again, you know, I think most people need to apologize to Brian because Brian really put up with his bullshit. He really unlocked his potential, and the dude is just, he shut down. You know, that's just what he is. And he one of those dudes that you got to have, like, you got to kind of know him. Give him a space, all right? When he's ready to come back, bring him back in. But that Brooklyn team, talented, but they got a lot of chemistry issues to overcome. So let me know what you think about Kyrie saying he ain't talking to the media for the whole year. Don't forget to check out our NBA Talk playlist. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. To reach out if a business question, call, response, or video request. All our social media links in the description. Twitter's the fastest way. Facebook, Instagram. We also got a Facebook group. Check that out. For all my live streams, because I can't go live on this channel right now, check me on the uh, description. Clip Sportscaster. Create a profile. All my live streams that I do there. Creating the profile is 100% free. Other than that, you want to make a financial donation, Cash App CJ Good 313 That link's in the description. PayPal link in the description as well. Or Cash App name in the description. Best way to donate, share the video. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. We go.